Hello and welcome to Mr. Ridley's Design and Technology. This is Mr. Ridley's five minute D&T revision and words that you would find used in the exam. Sustainable. Sustainable means to be able to continue to do something. Using fossil fuels is not sustainable as they cause global warming and will one day run out. Most managed forestry is sustainable. So there we have something that is sustainable, managed forestry, and fossil fuels, which are not sustainable. Reinforce. Reinforce means to strengthen or support a material or component. This might be by adding more material at a potential weak point. So just building up an area where it might break, that can be called reinforcing, or by adding a different or additional material. An example of this would be adding steel rebar to reinforce concrete. And you can see the reinforced concrete there in the image and you can see just there some steel bars. They reinforce the concrete. Reinforce. Disposal. In DMT, disposal normally refers to what happens at the end of a product's life. In the UK, over half of all waste goes to landfill. Some materials, like electronic goods, should no longer be sent to landfill. This symbol here, we symbol on packaging, means the product should is an electronic product that should not be sent to landfill. Disposal. Marketing. Marketing is an activity to promote products to a target market in order to maximize sales. Marketing information on the needs of customers is sometimes used as an input in the design process. So you might actually see a, a, an activity that feeds back to the design process to produce from marketing to produce a more saleable product. Reduce. Reduce in DNT is one of the five R's. Reduce aims to lessen the consumption of resources. This might be by using products for longer, so not replacing them so often, maybe not getting a new phone every three years, instead get it every four years, or just reducing packaging and making less packaging on a product. So that is reduce. Composite. A composite is a combination of two materials with different physical and chemical pro properties. The resulting material has different physical or chemical properties, so it might be stronger or lighter. So it's mixing two components. So the composite comes from components. And then we can see GRP. This is a composite of glass strands and polyester resin, which together, when mixed together, make a much stronger and very lightweight product. So composite and composite materials. Thank you for watching Mr. Ridley's Design and Technology. That was some more words used in exams.